Welcome to What Am I Looking At, a podcast from the Department of Art and Design at Arkansas State University. My name is Dr. Katherine Baker, and I'm a professor specializing in the history of medieval and early modern art. Throughout this series, each presenter will be giving you insight into works of art from across history that are in some way unusual, sometimes strange, sometimes hard to understand. So let's get to today's dive into the visual world on your radio. In a gallery of the Metropolitan Museum of Art, there is displayed an extremely odd-looking bronze sculpture that had a rather practical purpose. Made in the late 14th or early 15th century in the Netherlands, in this object we are confronted by a foot-tall image of a bearded man with a receding hairline who is being ridden, side-saddle, by a young woman. With one hand wrapped in the tendrils of his hair and the other placed on his rump, The woman is elegantly dressed in a flowing gown, waist cinched with an elaborate belt encircling her midsection. The man, on his hands and knees, seems equally well dressed in a short tunic and pointy-toed shoes associated with the period. Known as Poulen or Krakow, their elongated tips bend along the ground, providing further stability for the object. Directly next to a series of buttons that adorn his top, A spigot with an elaborately formed handle juts out from the man's chest. This is the key to the function of the object, an aqua menil, a vessel used to pour water for hand washing in the church and in the home. The subject here points towards the domestic, an object of visual amusement that would have likely enlivened a wealthy person's formal dining table. Turning to this subject of delight, what exactly is going on here? Who is the couple, and why is he being treated like a beast of burden? This is a depiction of the medieval cautionary tale of Aristotle and Phyllis, where the great Greek philosopher was laid low by desire and the wiles of a beautiful woman. A legend that appears to have been concocted in the 13th century, the narrative starts with Aristotle warning his young student, Alexander the Great, about Phyllis, a beguiling woman in the court who, in some tellings, was the mistress of Alexander's father. Sometimes part of a lesson for the young man, sometimes just a result of Aristotle's own folly and Phyllis's want for revenge at being the subject of scorn, Alexander becomes witness to this woman's power. The philosopher is smitten and agrees to be ridden by Phyllis in exchange for her affections. Although in this aqua menil, she has left behind her traditional whip and bridle, which was frequently depicted in the philosopher's mouth, the sense of humiliation is still visible, despite Aristotle not yet being in on the joke. An incredibly popular narrative in the medieval and early Renaissance, one can imagine a dinner guest getting a good little chuckle as they wash their hands, perhaps hoping to cleanse their own hypocrisies. What Am I Looking At is provided by KASU in collaboration with the Department of Art and Design at A-State. Stay tuned next week for another exploration of art over your airwaves.